Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A um, couple of things. I'm sorry that the lighting is weird. I'm currently filming like first thing in the morning and the lights are like peeking through my blinds. So I'm sorry if that's annoying. I'm gonna try to avoid that. Oh my God, why is it like that? Let me, let me see. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, I apologize in advance. It's just super bright outside and oh my god, the lights are like dancing on my face. Also, number two, I am sick. Um, I have been coughing up a lung and just obviously sound very stuffy. Like I'm just starting to get my voice back. Like I literally do not have a voice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just trying to like relax a little bit more. Um, I thought... I think it's because like the seasons are changing and obviously it's October but for some reason like my body I've just been so stressed and I haven't really been sleeping well so maybe it's just like a combination of all these different factors but um yeah so this is what we're working with I apologize but today we're going to be doing my September favorites these are products I was loving in the month of September and carrying on into October as well so if you're interested to see everything that I've been liking spoiler alert. don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post please forgive my uh, nasally voice and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it um okay so let's start off with makeup products i want to start off with this guy right here i use this in um an upcoming video that i think i'll be posting next but i've been using this throughout the entire month this is a bh cosmetics glam reflections gilded palette it's one of their 15 color palettes i absolutely love bh cosmetics eyeshadows i think they're so underrated um they make great great affordable eyeshadows i've used several of their palettes and tutorials and i will link them down below but i love this guy i spoke about this guy in my um 2018 yearly favorites i believe last year this is the glam reflection l'amour palette it's like their pinky palettes so creamy so pigmented um and very affordable and sturdy packaging like look at this mirror that you get like it's insane and you can get these for like under ten dollars when they're on sale like this this situation is amazing. I'm currently wearing um, a little bit of this peachy shade in my crease. I'm wearing this dark brown on my lower lash line. I'm wearing this kind of like duochrome. I'll swatch all of these for you. Like, holy crap, they're so, so good and buttery. They blend like a dream and I cannot recommend this enough. And I know you look at this and you're like, huh, that's a summer palette. But actually my next video, which is a fall focus makeup tutorial, I was able to get a really pretty fall look. I'm so sorry about these lights. Fall look using these shades. So I think it's definitely versatile because you have a lot of your deeper shades right here that are conducive to a nice smoky eye. You've got some lighter shades. You've got some peachy shades. You got some orangey shades, which are great for fall as well. So I definitely recommend this and I think it is a great buy. Definitely don't sleep on this. It's so good. Okay, speaking of palettes, I want to give a shout out to this guy right here, but specifically this brightener shade right here. If you guys watched my Get Ready With Me in LA, this was the only like bronzer blush highlight palette I had brought with me and I use that for pretty much like everything, but this brightener shade right here is the standout product in this entire palette for me personally, like 100%. And I'll show you why, because it has two highlighting shades and I'll swatch them for you right here. Really beautiful, really intense metallic highlighting shades. Like bam, wow. But this brightener shade will take you like to a next level. Like, look at the difference. Look at the difference. And it's funny they label it as a brightener instead of one of the highlights because this is freaking intense. I will apply a little bit more on my cheekbones. Actually, I don't have any. I'll apply a little bit. You need barely anything. And look at that. Barely, ooh. like come on that is insane it's freaking beautiful i highly recommend it and it's so so good um definitely check it out if you haven't already because this is a great palette i don't know if the whole thing is worth it just for that one shade but i would say yes because this is 45 dollars and you get two highlights you get a contour you get a face powder you get a blush and you get and you basically get three highlights but this is like insane and i don't think i've ever seen something so metallic before like in that video when I used it in LA like I had to like buff it off my face because I was like holy crap this is like too much because I didn't know how intense it was so I went in with a super heavy hand so just bear that in mind but other than that like this is freaking amazing and you can see right here like just how reflective that is 
I want to talk about a foundation and you may have seen this coming this is the hourglass vanish stick foundation this is not a new foundation um it's not even really a new foundation to my collection I've used it in several videos I've had this for almost two years at this point I have the shade golden it's definitely more of my summer shade um in the winter it's actually still a little bit too yellow for me but um, I make it work um, but in the winter like I have to absolutely mix it with something this is what it looks like you have to be careful with the packaging because it is a twist up triangle thing but you can't just jam the cap back on um, otherwise it'll just create a hot mess so you have to really just like twist it up and then twist it back down um, and then you're good to go and this is such a great foundation to travel with I took it with me to LA it's been one of the only foundations I've been using like consistently throughout the month because it is full coverage but it's such a buildable lightweight full coverage like you can paint this on your face and you can build it up and even as someone who doesn't like building up foundation because it's a stick foundation I feel comfortable building it up and I don't get like a heavy cakey appearance it's so weird and as someone with oily skin I feel like this works for me obviously I use like a mattifying primer and setting powder and setting spray but this just gives such a natural finish like it's not dewy it's not matte it's just a beautiful satin natural finish and this is a great like going out foundation but if you do want to wear out to like work or on a daily basis I think it's great as well because it blends so easily it's just such a nice formula and it's so every time I wear this to work I look in the mirror like when I'm checking in like my little like half day check in and I see my face and I'm like holy crap like I still look like I just put my makeup on and I can't say that about every foundation you know so I'm very pleased with this guy very much love it definitely check it out it is $46 it's not wallet friendly I totally get that but if you want to splurge and you're looking for something good to splurge on this is it right here Alrighty, speaking of complexion products, I want to give a shout out to this guy right here. Speaking of concealers, this is the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This one is in the shade, I think this is medium? Why does it not say? Because I also have this shade right here. This is number 111 and this is 117, so this is a little bit darker. This is good to like mix into super light concealers for me um, because it is like a deeper shade and I'll show you. And it has like this kind of paddle applicator. This is 117. This is also great to contour with right here. And then this is the one that I use more often. This is 111. Oh crap, it's like, oh, I came out at once, but you can see. This comes out a little bit thicker than your normal concealer but look how full coverage that is like look how full coverage and flawless that is this is like a great flawless nighttime concealer but it just blends out so nicely you can't even see like my hand underneath like it's just like it's so full coverage and the applicator like people may not like it but all I do honestly is I'll squeeze a little bit onto my brush and I'll just do a little pat so this is something that's not to be slept on it's only six dollars and you can get it at Ulta and I know this concealer's been around for a while but I still think this is amazing and definitely one of the better full coverage concealers at the drugstore or not really at the drugstore but for a more affordable price point Moving on, um, after concealer and stuff comes powder, and I have to give a shout out to this guy right here. This is the Joa Selfie Ready Setting Power. This is a Korean beauty inspired brand that you can find at CVS. I have a few of their things, um, and I really like the setting powder because it reminds me so much of my favorite like daytime powder, if you will. This is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Powder. They both have like, I don't know if you can tell through here, they both have like the similar kind of like super finely milled, like really just like kind of cornstarchy I don't know cornstarchy is the right word but it's definitely like not a thick powder and this is what the product looks like maybe it'll give you a better idea and you can see it's very like light and very kind of like chalk not chalky in a bad way but it's very much one of those typical HD powders and it is I would not recommend this at nighttime or in flash photos because it will give you that like harsh flashback because the first ingredient in this powder is actually silica which silica is an amazing ingredient for blurring out your pores and just making you look flawless but if a powder is heavily concentrated with it it can give you flashback and this definitely does but during the day when I'm going here and there to work or whatever like it just sets my makeup down so beautifully and it truly blurs your skin and I was never one to really understand what that meant I was like how can you tell if something's like blurring your skin but honey you can't like 
you apply this all over your face and you can just see it just kind of like smoothing out your pores and it's it's insane and I can't say that about every single one of my powders but this one for sure probably because the first ingredient is silica it's very concentrated but this is really good it's pretty affordable it's cruelty free um and definitely like an underdog brand so if you want to check it out the next time you go to CVS I would highly recommend Okay, I want to give a shout out to this guy right here. This is a pretty vulgar bronzed B bronzer. Looks like this. You can get pretty vulgar at Sephora. I believe their bronzers are $32, but they have a couple different shades. This one is just like the medium standard bronze, I believe. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute. It's like a little like window, I guess. I don't know. Pretty vulgar is definitely one of the more... Um, indie brands I feel like they're at Sephora and they have a lot of things but I feel like um they're a little bit lesser known but this is a great bronzer it blends so nicely it's one of the ones that you do get kick up when you put your brush into the pan it is a softer formula but it's like silk when you like touch it and then it blends out so nicely like if you are looking for a bronzer that is not super harsh, that is really easy to work with, but that still blends out and gives you such a nice, flawless appearance to the skin, like, I would definitely recommend this guy right here. It is so good and so rich and yummy and just a great bronzer overall like I don't know what else I can say about it it's just a really good formula let's talk about this guy right here I've been using this every single day since I purchased it this is the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Primer Pencil this is what it looks like I'm clearly a big fan because I've already run it down basically it's just like a wide stick kind of pencil and you can sharpen it and you can use it as like a primer or like a makeup eraser so what you can do is you can put it on like your upper lash line after you put on mascara and then you can just like get rid of the mascara that got into your lid or what I do is I line my lips every day using it like I will use this as a lip liner and just go around the edges and then a little bit in the middle because it really just allows the product to grab on to your lips and and stay there all day Granted, of course, if you eat like oily food and stuff like that, it's going to come off a little bit. But I have found that with this product, my lipstick lasts a lot longer than what it normally would. Like I'm wearing it today underneath my lips. I'm going to talk about the lipstick I'm wearing in a second, but this is just so good and it's $18. It's not wallet friendly, I know, for this, but this is one of those things that I feel like it's not something that you can like buy substitutes for, like lipsticks or foundations or concealers. Like this is considered a staple to me, like because this is one of one. Like I don't have anything in my collection that could replace what this does. So to me, it's personally worth the investment. Of course, like I can't speak for what's worth it for you, but for me personally, like I think this is totally worth it and I would repurchase it after I run out. Okay, speaking of lipsticks, I have two lip products I want to share with you. The one I'm wearing on my lips right now, I'm actually wearing it on top of my ColourPop um, Luxe Lipstick in Still Crazy. I'm wearing this guy right here. This is a newer formula to me and was definitely um, an impulse buy. This is the Essence Cosmetics this is nude lipstick in the shade legendary they have a bunch of different nudes i chose 05 legendary it's just a standard package um this is four dollars but when i tell you this is like the creamiest formula i barely swipe this on my hand and you see how much color just deposits right away it is so creamy and so pigmented. This truly reminds me of a high-end lipstick. It's emollient and it's creamy and it glides on, but it still stays put. And it's only $4. And it has a pretty, I can't really smell anything, but it does have like a tinge of a nice scent to it, which I love. And you can't go wrong. Like lipsticks are one of those things that I don't feel like you need to spend an arm and a leg for it. like yes I love some of my higher end lipsticks but lipsticks like this prove to me that you can get a great formula that's underrated it's more of like a hidden gem and that's what I love discovering on my channel like I love going out and doing my own research and I, I love the popular things as well don't get me wrong like I will for sure buy into hype but I also just love the aspect of discovering new things on my own and just doing my research and like literally just like combing the scanning the shelves like in store online and I just love the thrill of discovering something new and something that's not as spoken about but then when I find that it's like an amazing thing and it performs super well like that just makes me so excited and especially when it's super affordable so definitely go check it out this again is in the shade 05 legendary I highly recommend it so good so creamy the other lipstick that I was wearing pretty much for like the first half of the month non-stop was the ColourPop California Love Blur Luxe lipstick 
And I've been wearing this pretty much ever since I got it in my Ulta haul a couple months ago. It looks like their standard um, bullet lipstick packaging. So beautiful, but this color is freaking amazing. Like unlike um, the Essence lipstick, this isn't like super creamy and emollient and pigmented. This is more meant to be like a blurred formula. It's supposed to be reminiscent of after you put like a lipstick on your lips and you've blotted it off or you want like a stain effect. Like that's what this reminds me of. And it's so good. Like it's so, it's creamy, but it lasts a long time and it still deposits a nice wash of color on your lips. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna have to really worry about perfecting the lines of or whatever because it's a blurred formula. So it's not gonna be super pigmented and like harsh and intense right off the jump. Like I would say this is amazing if you want something that just imparts such a nice like blurred finish. It's something that's not gonna be too loud or too heavy or too like much this is a great lipstick. Okay, I have another lip product I wanna talk about. I don't have it with me because it's at work, but I have to mention it. I will put a picture of it right here. The ColourPop Just A Tint Lip Crayons. Um, so freaking good specifically. I think mine's in the shade Z Boys and I use it every single day at work. I keep it at my desk at work, which is why I don't have it with me today. Um, but it's so good. It smells like guava. It just, it's such a great tinted lip product, but it gives you more than just a tint. Like in my opinion, like it gives you a tint, but there's still color that you could definitely wear it like as a lipstick formula. And I particularly love the shade Z Boys because it it's kind of like my lips but better. Like my favorite kind of nude is like a deepened, warm, browny, rosy nude. And Z Boys has that like warm terracotta, like flattering tinge to it that I super love and I think is super flattering. It just makes your lips like come alive and your lips feel refreshed and moisturized. Um, it's not super long wearing. It's meant to be like a tinted lip balm. But if you're looking for something that will give you like lipstick performance in terms of color and coverage, I would say definitely does but it's more of like a shiny formula that's meant to just kind of like be a touch-up product in my opinion so yes i love it i can't live without it i keep it at my desk and that's why i don't have it here today couple more products i have to give a shout out to this guy right here this is the sun bum um mineral sunscreen face stick this is what it looks like right here and i really like this it's broad spectrum spf 50 and i bought this because i needed something to put on my scar um i don't know how many of you know this but after you get stitches or surgery or scar um they advise you not to expose it to direct sunlight for six months to a year so if you're in the sun either wear a hat or put something on like directly on top of it that's gonna give you good sun protection at least spf 40 they said or at least that's what my doctor said so i got this guy right here and i love sun bum they make great sunscreen products i also love the pacifica sunscreen stick too but this one i like a little bit more because it has more of a glide to it like it's just a twist up thing and you just put it on your skin like this and it's pretty invisible but it glides on so nicely so i really like that and i love sun bum in particular because it is a physical spf you guys know i don't like chemical spfs physical spfs in my opinion are just better on on the skin because they act as like a physical barrier instead of like penetrating your skin to protect it you know what i mean i've been swimming outdoors a lot lately so i'll bring this with me and just apply this all over my face apply it on my scar apply it on my arm like wherever it's just so easy and portable it's vegan it's cruelty free this is a great great sunscreen brand i know we're in october but i mean you should definitely put on sunscreen year round so yeah two more products let's give a shout out to this guy right here this is the hask charcoal with citrus long lasting oil absorption purifying dry shampoo and this is the best of beauty award winner and i'm almost like done with this guy but this is so good it's lightweight it leaves a little bit of a white cast but i actually have this all over my hair today and i think it looks pretty good it gives you a little bit of body so it doesn't fall completely flat like i'll spray it like here i'll spray it on my roots i'll spray it here and then i'll like kind of put my hair up while i'm getting ready and then once i'm done with like my makeup and my outfit and my whatever i'll take it out and then i'll just run it through my hair and it just gives me a little bit of volume but it's one of those dry shampoos where I feel like I can leave my hair down, which is so exciting for me. And this was so affordable. Hask makes great underrated hair products. And this dry shampoo is probably now my favorite thing from the line. Like you get a lot for your money. You get um, 9.6 fluid ounces, almost 10 fluid ounces for like, I believe this was like $10. Whereas like the dry bar dry shampoo, which I love, that's like under four ounces, I believe. And you 
pay like $23, which obviously it's different markets, but if you're looking for an affordable one, like out of all the drugstore ones, like even Batiste, I feel like this works better than Batiste. Um, this is a great, great dry shampoo. It's natural, there's no harsh scent, um, and it doesn't leave, like once you rub in the white cast, like once you rub in the product, you can't really see it anymore, but you get that nice body from it. And I've been using this every time I don't wash my hair, and I feel comfortable wearing it to work with my hair down. Usually, after I put in dry shampoo, I'll still feel like my hair is oily and gritty and I don't want to leave it down, but I have it in my hair now and I feel like it still looks looks pretty good. So I gotta give a shout out to this guy. This is definitely one of my top loves from the entire month. Last but not least, I spoke about this in my last video, my Bath & Body Works haul, which I'll link above and below. If you have not watched that already, definitely check it out. This is the Toasted Praline & Pear 24-Hour Moisture Body Cream, and I love this so much. I love the scent. Oh, I can't really smell it right now because I'm sick, but oh, I still can a little bit. That's how potent it is, but it just smells so fresh. Not fresh, it smells so cozy and inviting. Like This, for sure, is my favorite fall scent for a body cream like i like it even more than marshmallow pumpkin latte and i loved that one last year they just get better every year and i don't think they had this last year but i love the packaging i love how textured this is and i just love how rich it is i spoke about it in the video so i don't want to go on too long about this but i love this because i feel like with the body creams you get so much for your money like i apply this i'm a nighttime showerer and i'll apply this at night after i shower and then throughout the next day like my skin will still feel soft like my legs won't feel ashy my arms won't feel ashy like nothing will feel ashy because it truly is i think like a 24 hour moisture cream it's so good it's so potent it's so luxurious but it's not greasy like it's not a greasy formula at all it's just rich but once you rub it into your skin it envelops you in this nice like cushion of softness and I love it so I definitely recommend it the scent is beautiful get it for fall you can't go wrong all right everyone and that is it for today's video I made it through thank you for making it through with me through all the light mishaps and my voice sounding like I'm a dying horse <laughs> I apologize i am sick but yeah leave me your favorites from september down below i would love to know and i just love discovering your favorites and just always being on the hunt for new things so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye